For this challenge, we're looking at a blog post called Discount Price Calculator. In this challenge, we're going to write a little program to help us with our shopping. You've all been to shops and very often they offer some very tempting discount, such as 30% off or 50% off or up to 70% off. And it's sometimes very confusing to find out what is the actual price of the item we're going to buy. So we're going to write a little Python script that will help us um, with that. Basically, what we want is a Python script that asks the user the price of an item, asks the user what is the percentage of discount, and generate an output, which is the reduced price. In computer science, we often see the main program or the computer system as a black box. This black box is going to receive inputs from the end user or from different devices, input devices or sensors. This data will then be processed by the computer program or the computer system and it will then generate an output. And an output could be, for instance, a message displayed on the screen. This is exactly what's going to happen with our discount calculator. The user is going to enter a couple of inputs. First, it's going to have to define the price of the item. Then it's going to enter the percentage of discount to apply, such as 20%. The computer program will then calculate the discounted price and generate an output, which will be the reduced price. Now, let's see how this would look into Python code. To complete this challenge, we're going to complete three steps. Step one, we're going to retrieve the user input. Step two, we will do the processing by calculating the discounted price. Step three, we will output the reduced price to the end user. So let's look at step one, retrieving user inputs. And to do that, we're going to use the input command. Remember how the input command works. We can ask a question, for instance, uh, what is the price of the item. The user will type a value in here and because they're going to use the keyboard to type a value they're going to type a string which straight away we want to convert into a number, a number with decimal because you could um, ask for a price for instance 12 pounds and 50 pence. So to convert my input into a floating point number or a decimal number, I'm going to use the keyword, the function float. Once I've asked the question, I need to store the user input. So straight away, I'm going to use a variable to store this item price. And I'm going to call it item price. So that it's easy to know what it's used for. Item price, and it's going to store whatever the user is going to type in. Okay. We need a second input, which is the discounted price. So same again, I'm going to use my input command. What is the percentage discount? Question mark. And once again, I'm going to convert this as a float because I want it to be a number. So I'm going to convert it as a float. And I'm going to store it so I can then use it in my calculation. So I need to give a name, an identifier to my variable. I'm going to call it percentage discount. Here we go. Um, so we can try this code, see what happens. It should ask me for two different questions. What is the price of the item? 20 pounds. What is the percentage of the discount? 10%. And at this stage, nothing happens because we haven't done step two, which is processing our data input, and step three, which is outputting the message to the end user. Back to our code, I'm going to group these two together and complete step two, which is the processing part of my code. This is where we're going to calculate the reduced price. So we need another variable, which we're going to call reduced price. And this is where we're going to apply our mass formula. We want the reduced price to be equal to the initial price to which we're going to take away the discount now. To do that, we're going to apply the percentage discount to the item price. So we're going to do 
item price times now um, the percentage discount. So for instance, that's 20 and a percentage means percent. So we are dividing by 100. So for instance, if my price was 20 pounds, to which I'm going to re remove 20 times 10 per cent, okay, which will be two pounds of my price. At this stage, I can run the code to see if it works, but nothing will happen because I didn't generate an output. And that's the final step for my code. So step number three, generating the output. And in Python, a very easy way to generate an output is to use the print command, which is used to display a message on the screen. So I'm going to print my reduced price. Okay, let's see whether this works. So what is the price of the item? I said I wanted to buy an item at £20. What is the percentage of discount? I'm going to use 10% discount. And my output is 18. So it's taken two pounds of my initial price. Now it's working, but it's not very user friendly. It's not a very nice message here. So I'm going to change my code a little bit and I'm going to say print the reduced price is to which I'm going to add the reduced price. Now this is a string. This is a number. And the plus Python is a bit confused here because it's not sure whether it wants to do string concatenation, which means merge those two values together, or a mass addition. So we're going to convert our reduced price into a string so that Python knows that this plus means make a full sentence, make string concatenation out of those two strings. Let's see if this works. What is the price of the item? 20 pounds. What is the discount? 10%. The reduced price is £18. Perfect. That's all I wanted to do for today. Um, I think we've clearly recapped that most programs will take some user inputs, will do a bit of processing, some calculations, and will always generate an output.